this talk is about the development uh, interblock combined paths in GCC. Uh, with uh, uh, the automatic tuning tool, uh, we have found that uh, GCC uh, may take a shift expression uh, out of uh, uh, the expression and move it, uh, move it up. But uh, it's unnecessary because ARM has uh, a barrel shifter feature, so you can have a shift for free within the instruction. So we were uh, thinking why it happens and what can we do about it. Uh, this problem persists uh, if uh, the instructions are within the same basic block, not uh, only in different basic blocks. So uh, the first uh, thought is that uh, global common sub-expression elimination is unaware of ARM specifics and it does know that uh, the shift expression can be a part of uh, arithmetic logical instructions. Uh, Okay, GCC shouldn't be aware of ARM specific. Then there is forward propagation path that uh, should put it back if it can. It didn't do that. Uh, then there is combined path that can propagate it back also, but it didn't do that. We start uh, started thinking why it happens uh, and how to fix it. And uh, GCC is uh, machine independent path, so. Uh, the only thing, uh, uh, the only way I can think of of making it uh, account for ARM features is uh, considering RTX cost. So it wouldn't uh, uh, put exp expression uh, up if uh, the RTX uh, cost doesn't uh, change for better. Then the, there is forward propagation, but uh, if I uh, am correct, then uh, it only uh, moves constants or registers uh, that would become constants in the place of substitution, and uh, the, the final expression wouldn't depend from that register. So uh, the forward propagation is uh, a different optimization that uh, actually can't move uh, such as uh, such expressions as shifts. So combine uh, seems to be a right place to put the shift expression back into the ARM instruction. But uh, uh, we know that the combine is uh, works only within the same basic block. Uh, so to make it handle the first example, we should uh, make it interblock. But uh, the same picture is with, uh, within the basic block. And uh, it happens because uh, combine, when it tries to uh, substitute instruction, it tries to remove the original operation. Uh, then uh, if uh, the target register is alive after the instruction in which it substitutes uh, the expression, it tries to preserve that live register uh, because it will d delete uh, the original operation. So it uh, tries to generate parallel instruction right, uh, like in the right bottom. But uh, such instruction doesn't exist uh, in ARM CPU, for example. So it won't combine it. So uh, we set up a, a task of uh, improving combined paths to overcome these two problems. How uh, combined pass currently works? It's a kind of uh, old pass. Uh, Git blame dates it uh, back to 1992. And uh, there wasn't a DFC, or data flow analysis at that time. So it uh, has a notion of log links. It a uh, backlink from uh, a use uh, to the DF of uh, a register and uh, it builds it, builds it automatic, uh, manually, I'm sorry, uh, it builds it manually, but only for the current basic block. The main loop of combine is uh, just 
to traverse all basic blocks, then uh, traverse all instruction, uh, top down and then basic block. And for the current instructions, uh, current instruction generate all possible combination of one, two, or three, three instructions from its backward dependency graph, and then try to substitute it into the current instruction. And then uh, call try combine to uh, substitute them. Uh, here is uh, the example for instruction x equals a plus b. Here is a sample dependency graph. So it will first uh, try to combine uh, the definition of A with uh, the bottom instruction, then definition of B with bottom instruction, and mm, then it will try all combination of uh, two instruction dependencies. Uh, it will try uh, dependency from different levels and uh, a1 and A definition uh, combine together with uh, X and then uh, combine A and B definition uh, with X. Then it will try uh, three instructions. Uh, it makes sense uh, to combine at once one, two or three instructions because uh, it's possible that you will be combining uh, one by one instruction sequentially and it, it uh, won't be uh, suitable instruction in the CPU but if you combine three of them with all the simplifications uh, it does it can actually result in a valid instruction uh, try combine function is uh, very complex it's uh, 2000 lines long it's more than for propagation uh, pass the whole uh, FAPROPC and uh, uh, with all the help helpers functions uh, the combined C is like uh, 13 or 14 uh, thousand lines of code which is uh, nine times of uh, for the propagation. It does many different things, handles uh, many specific cases. It does simplification of uh, expressions uh, subrex, uh, zero sign extensions, and uh, logical and arithmetic expressions. So uh, combine keeps track of uh, each register in RegState data. Uh, last set value within a basic block, uh, a mode, uh, a m mask for non-zero bits, uh, to trace uh, subregs that were uh, assigned to it and uh, uh, bitwise operations and uh, signedness. Uh, then this data is used to simplify uh, different expressions uh, at the RTL level. But uh, this data is only updated within a basic block. So if you like to change uh, combine to interprocedural, uh, I'm sorry, interblock, uh, then uh, the first thing we should change uh, the main loop uh, and make it use uh, data flow analysis instead of log links. Uh, then uh, we should uh, update uh, RTL simplification. Uh, so this RECSTAT data is supported across uh, basic blocks. Uh, actually, it should be solved as a data flow problem, but currently we just uh, invalidate the data if uh, we combine instructions from different basic block. Also, uh, the correctness of uh, the operation should be addressed. Uh, if we combine A and B into C, then uh, first thing we should uh, make sure that there is no uh, different path uh, for R1 register, is so it can uh, go f live from other paths than, uh, other than from A. Uh, to do that, we check reaching definitions at uh, A header, uh, at B header, uh, and check if uh, the definition for R1 comes from A. Uh, the second thing is 
as uh, registers R2 and R3 will be used uh, at the point B, uh, then they should have the same, exactly the same set of region definitions uh, as at point A. So we should uh, also verify that. Uh, all these uh, conditions uh, were not required when it was intra-block. Uh, there are also additional checks uh, required uh, because uh, reaching definitions are only available at uh, basic block head and tail, then we just traverse uh, from head to the instruction B and from tail to instruction, instruction A uh, to see if there were uh, rights uh, in between also uh, calls and uh, call used reg regs are not traced by data flow so we should um, take care of that and uh, if we are comb combining a memory reference uh, then uh, we should check that there is no memory write in between uh, first we implemented a forward uh, combined pass it was kind of hybrid of uh, forward propagation and the combine. We used uh, a forward propagation uh, driver uh, that uh, substituted instruction down to its users but did it conservatively uh, so only if all users of the instruction can be substituted then uh, the original instruction will be removed. And uh, we check for RTX cost so it won't grow after the substitution. And uh, for this forward parse, we use uh, try combine function, uh, which does many things. And this is certainly the, not the piece of code we would want to rewrite. Uh, then we added a backward pass, which is a modification of combine itself, which is always backward. So forward pass, uh, it's an additional pass uh, to uh, combine. If uh, it can't substitute uh, the instruction into all users at once, it just uh, rolls back all uh, the uh, transformations and doesn't do that. Uh, in the future, uh, we would want to account for branch probabilities, so uh, to see if uh, the most substitution happen uh, along frequent uh, basic blocks. Uh, a backward pass, uh, it's required because um, if you try to propagate A uh, down to C, uh, there might be no instruction available uh, in the CPU to uh, hold a combination of those. But if we uh, drag both A and B into, into, into X by following uh, C's uh, backward dependencies, it may work because uh, the bitwise uh, arguments are orthogonal and then will result in zero. Actually, uh, it's not that simple in real life. It will be a combination of uh, subregs or uh, sign extends, not just a bitwise end but the backward pass is uh, essential. Uh, here is an example how our new combined pass works. It uh, actually solves uh, the motivation example and uh, propagates shift expression into different basic blocks. But uh, for uh, only for ARM, uh, original ARM 32-bit uh, code size decreases, but for thumb it would increase because uh, of uh, encoding uh, the instructions uh, that contain shifts uh, are encoded with 32 bits, while a simple instructions uh, encoded with 16 bits. So we have a look at uh, RTX cost. Uh, also, this can, can possibly reduce uh, register pressure or make some time to, for R141 to load if they are uh, near to each other. Uh, the results are modest. Uh, 
We save actually about 10 kilobytes on spec 2000, but uh, it's just 0.3%. Uh, we tried it uh, in three different modes. Uh, first, the new combine uh, with, uh, without original GC combine, then uh, together, and uh, the fact that uh, new combine plus GC combine is better than new combine, it shows that uh, there are cases uh, which GCC combine uh, handles better than our new pass. And also we tried uh, original GC combine with uh, only forward pass. Uh, but for ARM the results are mostly positive, which is not uh, true for TAMP tool because of its encoding. Also we tested it on x86 uh, and uh, uh, we should look uh, at the cases uh, which are not handled by our new pass and tune it more. So currently uh, the new interblock combined pass can run spec 2k passes uh, regression testing uh, there is no performance change except for mm, motivational test cases and there is, uh, there is small code size improvements. There are also uh, some future work left uh, before we can submit it in GC mainline <coughs> just, uh, or just sending it as RFC. We should speed it up mm, because now uh, data flow reaching definition uh, uh, updates uh, quite often and it's slow and we do many recog call calls so it's quite slow. Uh, also we should uh, propagate uh, RECSTAT data across basic blocks instead of just invalidating it and uh, fix many corner cases especially on x86 uh, so it uh, should be at least as good as uh, the old combined pass. After that uh, uh, we'll send it as RFC to GC mailing list. So this one was short. Uh, thank you. Are you going to replace the original company? Uh, we'd like to uh, uh, at least with the backward pass, so it, lo it uh, works not worse than the original combine and not slower. I'd like to thank you for at least going down this path. Um, the problem you're trying to solve is something I noticed probably back as, as far as 1992, maybe 1993. And you looked at it and it decided it was, it was going to be hard because it, it, it's a forward propagation problem and a backward propagation problem. All, all, the, stuff, all, all the stuff you found. Um, so I'm very happy to see you trying to tackle this. Um, so I just want to make that comment. That it's it's something that, that, that I've been aware of for a long time and I'm just happy to see somebody trying to, trying to address it. Thank you. Yes? So you, I mean, you mentioned here about the performance, I mean, the change in size, and you gave that background, the performance Improvement. How does this affect the compile time uh, in the, the new algorithm? Uh, it slows down. Uh, it slows down quite a bit. So uh, I don't think we can uh, put it into GCC at this time. But uh, we are working on optimization. Well, I mean, and, and two things. I mean, following up on that. I mean, one, as you said, you were following up with optimization. What? Is the cause of that that slow? I mean, other than you have a forward backward pass, I mean, is it using the data flow infrastructure itself is slower, or maybe using too complicated a data flow problem for this, or getting unnecessary information? And, and second, have you started looking at why on x86 you didn't get the performance improvement? And what have you found so far? Have you mentioned, you know, why it was more effective on? ARM, or is that ARM specific? Is that RISC versus CISC? Well, ARM, ARM has, a, has a feature that you can do that you can shift some parallels. Yeah, and, and I know the architectures have them. Um, it may be more pervasive. 
to see some of that on our um, But Octus has a bit of a shift as yet. Yes, several of them have, you know, even PA has a shift at construction. One of the things I, I'm, I'm curious about, um, yeah, combined is, is it's ancient and it predates uh, the DF infrastructure. And what would happen if we put, just from a, in terms of cleanup, uh, what would happen if we use DF instead of the old log lease knots? Right. But and doesn't it slow down the. Well, that, that's, that's the question. Does it slow down? Yeah. Because computing duty. Uh, we think uh, this is uh, part of the issue why it's slow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, that goes back to the question of I mean, why did this, did, did you have any initial overview of why it was slower with this, this new implementation of you know, what could be done? Uh, actually, we didn't start profiling it uh, and paying attention at slow time. Uh, we just uh, measured it and found that it's slow. Uh, but uh, did you look at whether it's better to run your new pass before or after the existing combine? Excuse me, could you repeat, please? Did you look at whether it was better to run your new pass before or after the existing combine? Because it may affect the, where the existing Uh, we actually run it uh, after the existing combine. Uh, we didn't try it uh, the other way. What kind of flags? Like compiler flags, like different optimization flags. Uh, for combined? Like you did before. <laughs> like you did yeah, like you did before, yeah. Uh, so you use this flag, this new pass in your uh, structure. Yeah. <laughs> Previous talk. But uh, what parameters to export as flags? Uh, what, uh, what parameters is this flag supposed to control? Optimization fast, like when you use a, like when you combine instruction, when you combine basic blocks, will certain flags make us speed up or faster or slower, etc. Did you ever have a chance to look at that? 
no. We aim to uh, do it a safe alternative to existing combine, so it works in base O2 level without any flux. Yes. Okay, Th thank you very much.